Transistors. They are an essential component in our modern age. There's many different types of transistors, but in this video we're going to be focusing on a bipolar junction transistor. Now there are two types of BJTs. There are PNP and NPN. All the BJT and NPN transistors have three different pins on them, and the pins go base, collector, emitter. So in this transistor circuit diagram, if we have, let's say, a battery right here, and we draw some wires from the battery, no current is going to flow through this system. If I take a tiny battery and I draw from positive to base and connect the ground to emitter, then what's going to happen is a little bit of current is going to flow into the base and through the emitter of the transistor, and that's going to open this big switch from emitter to collector and allow a lot of current to flow through here. Now, the electrons are actually flowing the opposite direction. This will help in my other explanation. Now, in this traffic simulation of a transistor, all the cars will be represented as electrons. So here's our figurative transistor. Here we have an emitter, a base, and a collector. Now, in this sense, we're going to be doing it kind of like a road with cars in a parking lot. So right here, the emitter is just part of this one-way road, the base is a parking lot, and the collector is just another part of the one-way road. Now, we've got an invisible fog bank right here, and this fog bank makes it so the people who are in the emitter can't actually see uh, that there's another road coming out of here. So right now, we only have one car here. Let's see what it looks like with this whole thing filled with cars. The layers of this parking lot represent the different types of silicon inside a transistor. Two layers have extra electrons, while the other layer has holes, or lack of electrons. So when the simulation started, and the cars initially started filling up these holes in the parking lot, in the base of the transistor, then what happened is they stopped moving because they saw the fog bank. This is like the electrons. When they move in, it creates a depletion layer right here, where the electrons don't want to move through the transistor. They can't anymore. But then if you apply a base current to this transistor, then that means electrons can be sucked out because we have a positive charge right here. It pulls more electrons out through it, like these cars. Now when the electrons are coming here, they get attracted by this positive collector, and then they start driving forward here. That's like when the cars were able to see past the fog bank and start driving forward. So let's find some real practical applications of this transistor. Let's say you wanted to control a very loud speaker with a very tiny voltage like a microphone. It would allow the small current from this little tiny microphone to be amplified into a very large current that is able to drive this large speaker. So there you have it. That is how a transistor works.